Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your bi-weekly readings for the first two weeks of January 2016. Um, this reading is for Taurus. I hope you've had a wonderful holiday season and I hope the year ahead is a wonderful year for you. Um, and please remember these are general readings and they will not apply to everybody watching and if you'd like a private reading you can email me at advice to think twice at gmail.com okay and thank you for being here with me I will get straight into the reading so Taurus first week of January 2016 the week of January 4th um, the general tone of the week is the ten of swords so this is good um, energy because this is letting me know that you are getting over a lot of things you're leaving a lot of unhealthy things or negative things or people in the past and you are starting the new year fresh um, with positive energy with positive thinking um, you are now ready to um, let go and move forward into a better place okay the sun is rising in the background all right this is the old you okay lying on the ground with all the swords in your back this is the old you okay i feel like you're leaving this behind the old version of you with the situations and people that the old you came with you're leaving that behind and you are already headed towards this sunrise in the background okay so it will be lots of endings followed by new beginnings for you okay um, career and finances we have the shadow side which is a devil card in the traditional rider weight tarot okay when the shadow sh side comes up in a reading it's letting you know that you are maybe focusing on the right on sorry on the wrong thing um, it's letting you know that you're either focusing too much on material aspects or too much on your fears and insecurities and your doubts when it comes to career and finances okay so it could be you've left a job and now you're afraid because you're not quite sure what you're gonna find or um, how your next job is going to be uh, you're not quite sure how your fin finances are going to work out yet um, if it's going to be enough if this job will make you happy okay it's a lot a lot of fear and self-doubt okay concerning your career and your finances now with the shadow side and the ten of swords as a general energy this is just letting me know that this is a natural thing okay to have some anxiety when dealing with an ending but at the same time there will be a beginning very very soon a new beginning a better situation coming into your life okay so you just need to move through this energy of anxiety okay and that will take you to your new beginning to your dream job okay um, and just remember that negative thinking attracts negative things okay so try to keep an, an um, uplifting energy a positive attitude um, it may be difficult at times especially when you've been dealing with a lot of obstacles um, and all sorts of difficulties I know it may be it, it can be difficult to stay positive but with these two cards it's just letting you know that this is your attitude that is holding you back okay in the way you think so definitely have more confidence you've made the right decision and you're definitely moving forward okay home and family life you have the seven of wands so for some of you you're leaving it feels like you're leaving a relationship behind a marriage for some of you because you're standing your, or your ground with the seven of wands you are saying this is not good for me this doesn't make me happy okay so it could be that you have left a relationship in the past 
in the recent past, you've walked away from it, made that decision, and now you're just holding your ground. Okay, you're just sticking to the plan. Um, and with the Seven of Wands, this is an adv advantageous position that you're in. Okay, so you have everything you need to move forward. Okay, and it looks like you are getting your confidence back and um, believing in yourself again and seeing your self worth again. Okay, um, a lot of you will be walking away from something when it comes to family. If it's your immediate family, you may be walking away from a marriage. Um, if it's extended family, it could be you're defending yourself, you're standing your ground um, in an argument with someone else. Um, if this is the case, don't let the situation make you sad or melancholic or bitter in any way because it's meant to be this way okay if you've made the difficult decision of cutting someone out out of your life um, I have every confidence that you've thought about it long and hard and this was absolutely the last resort the last solution okay so just the only way is up from now okay the only way is forward so um, definitely keep your spirit up keep your confidence up you're doing the right thing okay your romantic relationships you have the six of pentacles so for those of you who have walked away from something and are now single the six of pentacles is telling me that you're finding support around you okay with your friends and family this is the card of support that is um, showing up for you from unexpected people and unexpected places okay and this is balance being restored to you when it comes to your attitude towards love and relationships okay you are getting balance in your life again um, for those of you who have been single for a while it could be that you've made a decision to change something about you um, either your attitude or something in your behavior or just something in the way you approach love and relationships or your views on what a partner should be okay it could be that you're making a change there that is bringing balance in for you and it could be that you meet someone um, who's an earth sign a Taurus a Virgo a Capricorn um, and they balance you out okay but either way things are calming down when it comes to your love life things are becoming more balanced okay and um, that is bringing feelings of security safety and uh, and building your confidence up okay the advice you have is the justice card so that is how I know that everything's gonna work out for you okay regardless of what kind of situations you're dealing with justice is saying fight for justice and equality rulings made in your favor and don't give up okay so that's seven of wands do not give up you're on the right path okay things will turn out in your favor there's no need to be afraid and worried about your jobs or, or your finances okay and fight for justice and equality if someone doesn't give you a fair partnership and treat you the way you deserve it's more than okay to walk away from that and look for someone who will be a true partner to you okay the second week of January oh my we've got a lot of major arcana cards in here and we've got the devil showing up again okay so that's a double message for you and it's just letting you know to be careful of what you're thinking and what you're doing and what it is that you're attracting to your life because of the way you're thinking okay um, please try to keep your attitude a positive one and hope for the best 
okay don't allow for fear and doubt because that will do a lot of damage for you the general tone of the week we have the eight of swords okay with the eight of swords it is feeling stuck feeling like you have no option feeling like you have no way out like nothing's moving nothing's happening um, <clears throat> like it's never gonna end you don't know what to do next but with the first of all with the eight of swords it's all in your head okay it's what you perceive to be happening it's not necessarily what is happening because you're not seeing things clearly okay if you if you can see in the card her eyes are blindfolded okay and but your hands are free so you can take the blindfold off all right um and the swords are just they're not touching you they're just around you but again you can take the blindfold off and just get yourself out of that place okay so please be careful about your attitude about your perspective the way you see things all right and try to keep everything positive career and finances you have the emperor card now the emperor in your career and finances is really good because it's just telling you that if you're looking for a job you're getting the job um, if you are hoping for your finances to improve they will uh, you will be rewarded for all your hard work any kind of interaction you will have with an authority figure a boss of some sort a manager or anything like that will go in your favor and you will get what you're asking for because you are so confident and you know the work you're doing and you know what you deserve for it and you express this in a very professional way very balanced very calm very um like like a true professional you know like everyone knows this this work should get this pay and it's like when you go to your boss and you say this is everything i'm doing and this is how i'm contributing to the company and this is the level of pay that should go with this kind of work and that's when they go yeah okay they've got nothing else to say because you present it in such a way that you cover all your bases okay but with the eight of swords you're still unsure you're still afraid of asking for what it is that you deserve from your manager you're sure you're, you're um you're still afraid that nothing will change that nothing will happen it's you've got the confidence of the emperor okay and the emperor is letting you know that any dealings with authority figures at this time will be in your favor so please change this attitude of the eight of swords okay it's really important that you do home and family life you have the strength card so again you're standing your ground you're finding your strength again your confidence self-respect okay you're building yourself up and you're not sure where it's gonna go yet it's a new situation but as long as you keep focusing on your strength and moving forward and believing in yourself you should be okay for others this is you having to be a mediator this week and you have to guide people with quiet strength okay um, this is leading by the power of example as opposed to telling people what to do alright everyone looks to you for advice because you're always so um, balanced so centered okay you don't go overboard you don't overreact you're very very strong alright and you radiate inner strength okay so a lot of people will come to you for guidance for advice a lot of people will look up to you and your family and uh, your friends and I, f I feel like you're calming down you're finding your rhythm again okay and you're moving away you're slowly moving away from the attitude of the eight of swords and love relationships we have another major arcana card and we have the devil again which we did in the previous week 
when it comes to love and relationships and you have the devil in there, it's just letting you know that you could be in a healthy in an unhealthy, sorry, unhealthy situation when it comes to your love life. It could be especially if you're dealing with a Capricorn, it could be that you feel stuck in that situation. You feel manipulated but you can't break free. You feel controlled, trapped. Okay? And with the Devil card, it's just again, you can walk away from this. But you have to open your eyes and make the conscious decision to do so. And use the strength you have to to help you do that okay um, so with the devil card if you're already coupled it could tell you that you're going through a bit of a challenging time but again please be careful this week because the general tone of the week is the eight of swords okay so you're not seeing things clearly definitely this week it could be you're perceiving your partner to be manipulative when in reality they're not. For some of you they could be, but for others they may not be. Um, so just try to definitely get rid of this attitude of the Eight of Swords um, and move into the strength Okay, that you do have and believe in yourself Okay, so that you, you can open your eyes and see things clearly, see things in people for what they truly are and then make decisions. Okay. Don't allow yourself to be chained to any person or situation. Uh, don't allow for anyone to take your power away from you. Okay, you are who you are. You're very deserving. You deserve what you wish for. Okay, you deserve to be treated with respect and love and kindness. And don't allow for anything else. Okay, don't allow anyone to treat you like a puppet. Like you're there just for them. Okay. Advice you have is the Knight of Ariel. And he's saying there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over by someone kind. Okay, so make a very detailed plan, which is what the Emperor does. He sets his goals, he makes the plan, and he goes according to that plan step by step until he meets his goal okay this is things starting to move for you slowly but surely okay with the knight of ariel things are moving you will notice that they're moving it may not be very very quickly but with the Knight of Ariel, remember that the progress you're making is definite progress and it's definitely for the long run. It's not here today and gone tomorrow. So keep working at it, put in the work. Um, this is a lot of personal work, inner work when it comes to your attitude, the way you think, the way you feel, the way you relate to yourself and to other people. Okay? But know that after you've done that work, you will definitely have success and abundance and happiness. Okay? So that is what the Knight of Ariel is telling you. Things have started to move in, in the direction you want them to go. There's a lot of work to be done still. But there's a lot to win once you've done that work. Okay? So I hope the reading resonates with you um, and I hope you find some guidance in it. Um, Please like, share, subscribe, comment and let me know if it applies or let me know how it applies to your particular situation. It will be something different for everybody. Um, I hope you have a wonderful two weeks ahead of you. Um, it seems like a very empowering time. Um, I hope you take advantage of this energy. And whatever happens, know that you are meant to go through these changes and you're being given some opportunities now for you to change things and move them in the direction you want them to go in your life okay so i really hope you take advantage of the energy um so um thank you for being here with me i will talk to you soon take care